Hello learners, my name is Bhagya Lakshmi. I am going to teach you about the price elasticity of demand. We have learned about the chapter Law of Demand. In this chapter, we will learn elasticity of demand, types of elasticity of demand, price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand and the types of price elasticity of demand. We will learn about the methods of price elasticity of demand, percentage method, geometric method, total expenditure method, as well as the factors affecting the price elasticity of demand. First of all, we will learn what is elasticity of demand. We learned about the law of demand. The law of demand states that other things remaining constant, the price of the commodity and the quantity demanded are inversely related. Now, what are the other things? The other things are the price of other goods, income of the buyer and the taste and preferences of the buyer. Through elasticity, we measure how far the quantity demanded of a commodity changes with the change in the price and the other factors affecting the price. That is, elasticity measures the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded to the changes in the factors affecting demand. Elasticity, the word says, the degree of response. That is, elasticity of demand means the degree of responsiveness of demand to the changes in the factors affecting demand. Once again, we can define the elasticity of demand. The elasticity of demand means the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded to the changes in the factors affecting demand. Demand for a commodity response changes to the changes in its price, the price of related goods, income of the consumer and the taste and preferences of the consumer. Thus, elasticity of demand measures how far the quantity demanded of a commodity changes due to the changes in these factors. So, by the definition itself, we can find out the three dimensions of elasticity of demand. What are the three dimensions? Price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand and the cross elasticity of demand. Again, once more, we can see the types of elasticity of demand. According to the factors affecting the demand for a commodity, we have three types of elasticity of demand, price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand. What are they? First of all, price elasticity of demand. What is price elasticity of demand? Price elasticity of demand is the degree of responsiveness of demand to the changes in the price of the commodity. Other things remaining constant, how far the quantity demanded of a commodity increases or decreases due to a change in the price of the commodity. Now, income elasticity of demand. What is income elasticity of demand? It is the degree of responsiveness of demand to the changes in the income of the consumer. That means, Whenever the income of the consumer increases or decreases, how far the quantity demanded of the consumer changes, that is denoted by the income elasticity of demand. Now, cross elasticity of demand. Cross elasticity of demand measures the degree of responsiveness of demand to the changes in the price of related goods or other goods. That means the cross elasticity of demand shows how far the quantity demanded of a commodity increases or decreases to an increase or decrease in the price of a substitute or a complementary good. Now, we can understand very well about the price elasticity of demand. The price elasticity of demand, I have explained you. Price elasticity of demand is the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded to the changes in the price of the commodity. There can be five different situations of price elasticity of demand. They are 
the price elasticity of demand equal to 1 it is also known as unit elastic demand there the price elasticity of demand will be equal to 1 second the price elasticity of demand more than 1 third price elasticity of demand less than 1 fourth perfectly elastic demand that means the elasticity of demand is infinite fifthly the perfectly inelastic demand that means the elasticity of demand is equal to zero so we have five different cases of price elasticity of demand elasticity of demand equal to one elasticity of demand more than one elasticity of demand less than one perfectly elastic demand or elasticity of demand is infinite and perfectly inelastic demand or elasticity of demand equal to zero now we will understand diagrammatically as well as with the help of a table what are these different types of elasticity of demand first of all perfectly inelastic demand this perfectly inelastic demand says that the quantity demanded of the commodity does not change at all with the changes in the price the price may increase or decrease but the quantity demanded remains the same you can see the table also the table shows that price per kilogram changes from 10 to 15 to 20 but the quantity demanded remains the same so you can also see the demand curve the demand curve is a straight line parallel to y-axis this shows the elasticity of demand is zero now the second case the second case is the price elasticity of demand less than one in this case the quantity demanded of a commodity increases but less than proportionate to the decrease in price that means the price of the commodity decreases but quantity demanded increases but to not to that extent you can see the table also the price increases from 10 to 20 but the quantity demanded decreases only from 4 to 3 now the third case of elasticity of demand we can see it is elasticity of demand equal to 1 in this case there is a equal change in quantity demanded to a change in the price of the commodity when the price of the commodity decreases by 10 percent the quantity demanded increases by 10 percent that means in the quantity demanded to the proportionate change in the price of the commodity you can see the table also the price of the commodity increases from rupees 20 to 30 and the quantity demanded decreases from 40 to 20 there is a proportionate decrease in the quantity demanded to the proportionate increase in the price now the fourth type of elasticity of demand is elasticity of demand more than one here the quantity demanded increases very highly to a small decrease in price or quantity demanded decreases very highly to a small increase in price you can see the table also in the table the quantity demanded decreases from 400 to 100 units for an increase in price from 100 to 150 you can see observe the demand curve also the demand curve is slightly flatter denoting that for a small change in price the quantity demanded changes very highly now the last type of elasticity of demand that is perfectly elastic demand where the elasticity of demand you will get infinite that means the price remains the same but the quantity demanded increases or decreases the quantity demanded increases or decreases without a change in price of the commodity price of the commodity remains the same you can see the table also the price of the commodity remains the same at rupees 20 per unit but the quantity demanded increases from 2 to 4 so these are the five different cases of elasticity of demand now we come to the next part of the chapter how to measure this elasticity of demand there are 
three different methods of measuring the elasticity of demand. They are percentage method, geometric method and total expenditure method. These are the three important methods of measuring the elasticity of demand. Percentage method, geometric method and total expenditure method. Now one by one we will learn what are these methods. According to percentage method, price elasticity of demand is measured as a ratio of percentage change in quantity demanded to the percentage change in price of the commodity. We can have the formula here for the percentage method, price elasticity of demand is measured as the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price of the commodity. Now how to measure this percentage change in quantity demanded? Change in quantity demanded divided by initial quantity demanded into 100. Percentage change in price. Change in price divided by initial price into 100. Therefore, we get the formula like this. Elasticity of demand is denoted by ED. ED is equal to delta Q by Q into 100 divided by delta P by P into 100. Here, delta Q stands for change in quantity demanded, Q initial quantity demanded, delta P change in price and P initial price. So, we get the formula like this, delta Q by Q into P by delta P. This is the formula for calculating price elasticity of demand by percentage method or proportionate method. Now we can have an example here. Calculate price elasticity of demand if quantity demanded of a commodity rises by 20% due to 8% fall in its price. We can calculate it like this. Price elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price of the commodity. So we get 20 divided by 8, it is minus 2.5. Now the second method, it's a geometric method. According to geometric method, the price elasticity of demand is measured at a point on the straight line demand curve. How is it measured? Elasticity of demand equal to lower segment of the demand curve divided by upper segment of the demand curve. We can have an illustration here. You can see a straight line demand curve here and there are different points marked on this demand curve. You can see that point A, B, C, D. These points are marked. You can see that at point A, the elasticity of demand will be equal to 1. It is also mentioned at point A, the elasticity of demand is equal to 1. How? At point A, the lower segment of the demand curve is, we can see a straight line demand curve. This In the straight line demand curve, different points are marked. It is marked as C, D, M, N, P. In these points, we can measure the elasticity of demand. Now at the point M, the elasticity of demand is equal to 1. How is it? At the point M, the lower segment of the demand curve is MP, whereas the upper segment of the demand curve is CM. So, we calculate the elasticity of demand by dividing MP by CM. So, we get the elasticity of demand equal to 1. On the other point N, you can see the point N, the elasticity of demand is less than 1. How? At the point N, the lower segment of the demand curve is NP, whereas the upper segment of the demand curve is CN. That means the lower segment is less than the upper segment. So we get the elasticity of demand less than 1. Now at the point P, the elasticity of demand is equal to 0. Why is it 0? Because the lower segment of the demand curve is 0, whereas the upper segment of the demand curve is CP. 0 by CP, we get the elasticity of demand as 0. Now we go to point C. In the point C, the elasticity of demand will be infinite. 
Why is it infinite? Because at the point C, the upper segment of the demand curve is CP, whereas the lower segment of the demand curve is C0. So we get CP by 0, the elasticity of demand is infinite. Now we can take the case of point D. At the point D, the lower segment of the demand curve is CP, whereas the upper segment of the demand curve is CD. Lower segment is higher than the upper segment, so we get the elasticity of demand more than 1. So these are the different cases of elasticity of demand in the case of geometric method. Now total expenditure method, this is the third method of calculating price elasticity of demand. This method is also called as the total outlay method. By this method, the price elasticity of demand is calculated according to the changes in the total expenditure when the price of the commodity changes. There are three different cases of elasticity of demand in the case of total expenditure method. Elasticity of demand equal to 1, elasticity of demand less than 1 and elasticity of demand more than 1. Now what we have learned? We learned about elasticity of demand. We learned about types of elasticity of demand. We learned elasticity of demand. What is elasticity of demand? Elasticity of demand is the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded to the changes in the price of the commodity. How far the quantity demanded of the commodity changes to the changes in the price of the commodity. Also, there are different factors affecting the demand for a commodity. Accordingly, we have three different types of elasticity of demand. They are price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand. The taste and preferences of the consumer is also another factor determining the quantity demanded of a commodity. But this cannot be measured in terms of numbers, so it is not taken as a measure of elasticity of demand. So through the elasticity of demand, we will examine how far the quantity demanded of the commodity changes, increases or decreases to the changes in these factors, say price of the commodity, income of the buyer and changes in the price of related or substitute goods. Thus, we have price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand. There are different methods of measuring the price elasticity of demand that we have learned. That is, first of all, the percentage method or the proportionate method. Through that method, we measure the elasticity of demand, the proportionate change in the quantity demanded to the proportionate change in the price. Here, one thing which is very important, since there is a negative relationship between price and quantity demanded, there occur a negative sign if you calculate the price elasticity of demand by the percentage method. So, for the sake of simplicity, we ignore that negative sign and we take that value we get as elasticity as the positive number. So, that is very important thing you have to remember while calculating the elasticity of demand. So, we learned about the percentage method of calculating price elasticity of demand. It is the proportionate change in quantity demanded to the proportionate change in price. In the geometric method, we learned the price elasticity of demand on a linear demand curve, on a straight line demand curve at various points of a straight line demand curve, we learned the price elasticity of demand. So, we also learned how to calculate the price elasticity of demand by the total expenditure method. The total expenditure method measures the price elasticity according to the total expenditure incurred by the consumer when the price of the commodity changes. So this is what we have learned today. Have a good day and study properly. Thank you so much.
प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने हम अपना दीपक स्वयं बने हम अपना रास्ता स्वयं चुने ये प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने कभी पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े वे विषय के लोच से युक्त हो कभी पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े वे विषय के लोच से युक्त हो मित्रों हम उठे और जागे ये प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने पाए राष्ट्रीय मुक्त विद्यालय शिक्षा संस्थान यानी एन में एडमिशन वो भी एकदम आसान तरीके से जिससे शिक्षार्थियों को होगी समय और धन दोनों की बचत एन से शिक्षा कभी भी कहीं भी शिक्षार्थियों क्या आप जानते हैं एन में एडमिशन लेने का सरल और सुगम तरीका जिससे शिक्षार्थियों को ऑनलाइन प्रवेश लेने में सहूलियत मिलती है एन में प्रवेश की प्रक्रिया पूर्णतया ऑनलाइन है शिक्षार्थी घर बैठे इंटरनेट द्वारा प्रवेश के लिए सबसे पहले एन की वेबसाइट www.nios.ac.in पर लॉगिन करें अपना ईमेल आईडी और पासवर्ड डालकर अपना पंजीकरण करें पंजीकरण के बाद लॉगिन करने पर ऑनलाइन प्रवेश हेतु आवेदन पत्र खुलेगा आवेदन पत्र को निर्देशानुसार भरें और प्रिंट आउट लें। इस प्रिंट आउट पर अपनी फोटो संलग्न करें ऑनलाइन प्रवेश के लिए शुल्क हेतु भुगतान के तरीके हैं क्रेडिट कार्ड के द्वारा डेबिट कार्ड के द्वारा राष्ट्रीकृत बैंक के ड्राफ्ट के माध्यम ऐसी 
जो कि सचिव एन नई दिल्ली या नोएडा के पक्ष में देय हो भरे हुए आवेदन पत्र के साथ साथ डिमांड ड्राफ्ट और संलग्न किए जाने वाले दस्तावेज हैं। जन्म रजिस्ट्रार के जिला कार्यालय से जारी जन्म प्रमाण पत्र की सत्यापित प्रति जिसमें जन्म तिथि अंकित हो पिछले विद्यालय से प्राप्त विद्यालय छोड़ने का प्रमाण पत्र जिसमें आवेदक की जन्म तिथि लिखी हो प्रवेश फॉर्म का प्रिंट आउट एन के संबद्ध क्षेत्र केंद्रों पर 10 दिनों में पहुंच जाना चाहिए अन्यथा उचित दस्तावेज न लगे होने आरोप आवेदन फॉर्म रद्द किया जा सकता है प्रवेश प्रक्रिया की पुष्टि होने के बाद शिक्षार्थियों को परिचय पत्र व अध्ययन सामग्री डाक द्वारा तुरंत पहुंचाई जाती है ऑनलाइन प्रवेश एक बहुत ही सुगम और सुविधाजनक प्रवेश प्रणाली है ऑनलाइन ऑन टाइम फॉर सेफ एंड सिक्योर एडमिशन हिंदुस्तान के हर कोने में नौजवानों के पास प्रतिभा है उन्हें अवसर चाहिए एन आई ओ रहा है युवाओं को अवसर आगे बढ़ने का एन आई से पढ़ने वाले इन युवाओं ने किया है संस्थान को गौरवान्वित दिव्यांगों ने बन के दिखाया है सबल और आत्मनिर्भर एन आई के साथ आप भी जुड़िए एन आई के संग घर बैठे पाए राष्ट्रीय मुक्त विद्यालय शिक्षा संस्थान यानी एन में एडमिशन वो भी एकदम आसान तरीके से जिससे शिक्षार्थियों को होगी समय और धन दोनों की बचत एन से शिक्षा कभी भी कहीं भी शिक्षार्थियों क्या आप जानते हैं एन में एडमिशन लेने का सरल और सुगम तरीका जिससे शिक्षार्थियों को ऑनलाइन प्रवेश लेने में सहूलियत मिलती है एन में प्रवेश की प्रक्रिया पूर्णतया ऑनलाइन है शिक्षार्थी घर बैठे इंटरनेट द्वारा प्रवेश के लिए सबसे पहले एन की वेबसाइट www.nios.ac.in पर लॉगिन करें अपना ईमेल आईडी और पासवर्ड डालकर अपना पंजीकरण करें पंजीकरण के बाद लॉगिन करने पर ऑनलाइन प्रवेश हेतु आवेदन पत्र खुलेगा आवेदन पत्र को निर्देशानुसार भरें और प्रिंट आउट लें। इस प्रिंट आउट पर अपनी फोटो संलग्न करें ऑनलाइन प्रवेश के लिए शुल्क हेतु भुगतान के तरीके हैं क्रेडिट कार्ड के द्वारा डेबिट कार्ड के द्वारा राष्ट्रीकृत बैंक के ड्राफ्ट के माध्यम से जो कि सचिव एन नई दिल्ली या नोएडा के पक्ष में देय हो ऑनलाइन प्रवेश एक बहुत ही सुगम और सुविधाजनक प्रवेश प्रणाली है ऑनलाइन ऑन टाइम फॉर सेफ एंड सिक्योर एडमिशन हिंदुस्तान के हर कोने में नौजवानों के पास प्रतिभा है उन्हें अवसर चाहिए एन आई ओ रहा है युवाओं को अवसर आगे बढ़ने का एन आई से पढ़ने वाले इन युवाओं ने किया है संस्थान को गौरवान्वित दिव्यांगों ने बन के दिखाया है सबल और आत्मनिर्भर एन आई के साथ आप भी जुड़िए एन आई के संग